police appreciated there. In a conversation with Jim Gray, Brady alluded to issues with the organization. Do you feel appreciated by them and do they have the appropriate gratitude for what you have achieved? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, man, that is a tough question. Yeah, I mean, they, pre, you know, they, well, your they wife, your wife seems to yeah, indicate. Yeah. I think everybody in general wants to be appreciated more at work. Are you happy? Uh, I have my moments. <laughs> well, interesting. interesting. It was sort of a joke, but it sort of wasn't. And sometimes there's always some truth to something like that. Cece, what was your reaction to Tom Brady's comments? For one, Tom knew the question was coming. The reason why uh, the, the gentleman is doing the interview is one of Tom's friends. He interviews him every Monday night for Monday Night Football, has done it for years. It's a great interview. It's one of the few that Tom does outside the setting of New England and the beat reporters. So um, it's not like the question surprised him. What I took the fifth as, because I've seen Tom when they won the last Super Bowl, and at the ring ceremony, Tom brought his other four Super Bowl rings, and that was one of the few times that you saw Tom take a picture, and he had all five, and he put up five. And to me, I took the answer as, are you appreciated by New England? He said, I take the fifth. Same number of Super Bowls he had. I didn't, I didn't believe that he answered as saying, I take the fifth. I don't want to answer because I might incriminate myself. I believe Tom Brady said, I take the fifth. I put five Super Bowl trophies in there. So I believe that was the that was the real answer compared to what other people are going to think because I'm very familiar with Tom. Tom's very comfortable in this setting. And I know he knew what the questions were before he got up there. But he also, I agree, I totally agree he knew what the questions were. Like there is, this is, I might even, my gut feeling was he wanted that question asked. Like, because Jim Gray and he, not only does he do this interview, the interviews you're talking about on Monday Night Football, that Larry Fitzgerald has also done one the last few years along with Jim Gray on Monday Night Footballs with Westwood One. But Tom Brady's done this event with Jim Gray each year. I remember there was one right after Deflate Gate that was a big story where some news came out of it. I, Tom Brady knew this was coming. I think Tom Brady wanted it, wanted this question asked. And and if you watched, I read as many of the quotes as were released from this, watched as much of this as I could as was on the Internet. He was very honest about everything. And he was complimentary of Bill Belichick. He was complimentary of the organization. Yeah, I mean, what else he, is he supposed to say? Right. Like, I mean, are we surprised by that? No, but I don't think we can disregard what I think is an honest answer, which is I'm not comfortable answering if I feel appreciated. Because it's an easy answer to say, oh, yes, of, yes, of course I'm appreciated. Like, I, to me, I think Tom Brady, rightfully, by the way, feels like, no, I, I'm probably a little underappreciated. Like, I'm probably a little bit, aside from by the owner, considered a little more interchangeable than I actually am. Like, the, some of these rules that apply to all patriots at this point shouldn't apply to me. And I, I mean, I, I don't. I understand he has the five Super Bowl rings. I understand it's a cool play on words. But we also know what pleading the fifth means. It's I don't want to answer that for fear of incriminating But it's with myself. the friend. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have him. You said he wanted the question asked. Yes. He wouldn't answer that way if he, if he, if he dictated the interview and said, hey, ask me this question. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't take the fifth saying, I don't want to incriminate myself. He would have told him not to ask the question. Unless he wanted, uh, hold on, unless he wanted this out there with the, without having to say, no, I'm not appreciated. This is a good way to get the conversation going. What's up, Jenna? This, this has... I may be out on an island with this one, but normally I, I understand at least a little bit where Tom Brady is coming from, where both of you are coming from. But this to me, and I read it all different ways, just like you do, and I listened to it, and I walked away from this saying, enough already. Like, we get it. You're aging. You still want to play football. Just play football. Like, let's not worry about whether Tom Brady is appreciated or not. Let's not worry whether your feelings are hurt or whether you're wanted there when you walk in or if you're fully committed. Like, this is your job. Go in and play football. And when you're done playing football, then stop right, playing Jenna, football. Jenna, That's you, how I you, felt you, about it. Right. You, you don't like when athletes talk. Like, no, 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 no. You don't, you don't like I when want athletes... Them to, I want them to do their job with okay. as much fervor and gusto okay. as they well, can. Well, no one's well, in the history of the league done it. Wait a second. Yeah. Part of your job as one of the best athletes in the world is also connect enough with the fan base because it helps the overall popularity of the sport. It's... It, it's... Um, I'm... I'm 
we can't tell athletes do your job because that is a part of his job. Of course. That's, that th sounded like a complaint to me. So I, is he not? Well, hold on. He, well, let's say it was for a moment. That's not okay. Uh, uh, if he's not allowed to complain, who is? Listen, I, I. We just don't live. We don't. We don't give people or appropriate them the same thing we appropriate everyone else. If he can't complain. What, what, now I don't believe Tom Brady was complaining. I got a pretty good read on New England and how they do things in their answers. To me, I believe it was the fifth was about the five Super Bowl rings. But I'll ask you guys this. Y'all tell me, let's go over the world's greatest athletes. Y'all tell me one that feels appreciated. Go through them, any sport. And you tell me one that feels like they're appreciated. Let's start with your favorite one. Wait, LeBron. No. Oh, okay. What about Steph Curry? What about Durant? What Steph, about Durant? I don't know, but Steph might. Steph's a good one. What but about Aaron Rodgers? Rodgers doesn't. Oh, sure. okay. Keep going. So there aren't there aren't any athletes out there that are at at that level that you know what they wake up in the morning and say you know something everyone appreciates me. No, they're always looking for a chip. They're always looking for a little edge. That is a part of being great and being elite. Maybe people don't understand that, but it's a game that they play with themselves. When you get to the level that most of these guys are competing at, they're not competing against coverage, against a rush. They're competing against their own mentality and their own success. I guess I, w the, I would have loved the answer, not that you're asking, but the answer I would have loved would have been like, I know he planted the question, or maybe we think he planted uh, sure. the question, would have been, I don't care. I don't care if I'm appreciated or not. I know but what I've done, be true. and I know what I can't do. That wouldn't do. be true, why though. You, that's the thing is, why do you want these guys to lie to you? Why would I, I, I don't gotta want them understand to lie. I don't yes, want do. them to complain. It's hold, the same hold, issue hold, I have with hold, Kevin Durant. I don't want to hear you complain. You have an unbelievable opportunity to play an unbelievable sport. Uh, Jenna, we all, everyone at this desk has an unbelievable job. That is, we are so lucky to have. And ain't no complaints? Is that what we're saying? No, there's, there's, there's no, oh, it could be better here. Like, why, why do you want these guys to not be honest with you? He's doing this interview knowing he's doing it to get, like, I you want you to be honest, but I'm allowed to react to that honesty. I want to hear it. Of course I want to hear it. But that's my reaction to it. I'm Our expectations to of athletes are just not realistic. Tom Brady tried to give us a little something, and what are we going to do? We're going to tear it apart. You want the reason why you don't talk a lot? It's just because of this stuff like this. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Coming up, can the Raptors take advantage of a very tired, a fatigued LeBron James? That's next on Friday. Hey, Joe, can you get the camera? Dusty, I need better stats. Olivia, I need coffee, hot, cold. You feel unappreciated. Uh, hey, Wait, you're unappreciated? I